a lot of first time directors don't really know that you need to add some breathers <laughs> right you need to add some breathers it can't be just non-stop action from here to here Chad Stahelski and David Leach you guys did a wonderful job overall directing this film as first time directors at least on a big project like this maybe even the first time directing any project whatsoever it was fantastic bravo i mean i was not expecting i mean here's the thing you can have all of the things that i've talked about that i enjoyed about the screen about the screenplay the performances all of those things they would mean nothing if it wasn't for the directors leading the helm in a particular direction that they took in this movie i thought was a really well done job grade a job and the cho- and what i mean by that is the choices they made were really really good um the choices they made for the performances um it blended well with the actions you see a lot of first time directors don't really know that you need to add some breathers <laughs> right you need to add some breathers it can't be just non stop action from here to here and so I really enjoyed that they understood you need some breathers. So, you know, they included some moments where John is looking at his phone and looking at uh, old films uh, of his wife and just kind of reminiscing on her. They needed some that the, the, uh, obviously the first part of the movie where he's bonding with the cute dog. That was a breather. You know, after he buried his wife, it may not have been a lot of action, but it was a lot of heavy. The man just buried his wife. And so. Yeah, it may not have been an action, but it was some heavy stuff. We needed a breather. So getting a breather with the dog was really well done. So the pacing was really good. The, just the things that they, the, the, the choices that they made was really impressive. And here's the other thing. I love the scene selection so much that I feel uh, like there was no unnecessary scene within this movie. Generally speaking, I felt like every scene that they selected in the movie in the way that they put it together, the direction, it really made for a cohesive, swimmingly film, except for one scene. There was one scene that I felt was completely unnecessary. Here's the down. It is the scene in the beginning of the movie. Not the funeral scene. Not that. The scene where it shows like a three days earlier type thing or, or three days later type thing. That was completely unnecessary, completely unnecessary. You could have started that scene right at the beginning of the funeral and just started the movie right at the beginning of the funeral and just not included that scene in the beginning at all. We didn't need to know no three days earlier, three three days later type stuff. Just start us right at the beginning of the movie because it really was distracting. I didn't want to see like I'm supposed to because you got to understand all of these things that I'm hearing about John Wick about how he's the boogeyman killer and all of those things. In the back of my mind, while I was in the theater watching this movie for the first time, in the back of my mind, I'm constantly thinking about the very first scene where it shows John Wick all beaten and battered and bruised in a fist fight with Vigo. So I, in the back of my mind, I'm like, man, yeah, this guy's a stone cold killer, but every once in a while, I'm like, yeah, but since you showed me that scene earlier, I know that he's not, you know, even if I, okay, yes, even if I know that he's going to get some bruises and some, some scrapes, right? Okay, he's only human, even though he's the boogeyman. The, the problem is, though, it, because you show me that, though, like I know how he gets hurt. I know I know how he ends up where he ends up. So I, I feel like that scene was completely unnecessary. And here's the other thing. Although I did not have a problem with Vigo changing his mind at the end and where he decided that he wanted to go fight John Wick. I didn't have a problem with that, but I do feel like that the direction, there could have been more to show the transition, right? Like if you guys, if the direction would have had a scene where Vigo said a line like, oh, you know what? I'm, I'm forget it, you know, forget life, <laughs> you know, I'm just going to go all out or I don't care anymore. It'd give us some kind of, one liner or something that showed the transition where Vigo went from, I'm totally afraid to John Wick to I'm going to try to kill John Wick. 
right? And I thought they did, they, they, I see the attempt that they did where Vigo, if you remember, he was in the car and he's just laughing and he's like kind of hysterical, maybe even high or something like that. Um, but that wasn't enough. Like, I feel like he could have done a little bit more uh, in order to show that progression where he goes from being afraid to John, being afraid of John Wick to wanting to kill him. So that's the down. All around, I thought that you guys were new directors. The direction was really, really impressive. It was very, very impressive. Did a really good job on some of the things that um, the decisions that you made. And overall, uh, there were so many things that needed to take place in order to pull a movie like this off. Because you're not just giving us a new action movie installment. That's the lazy way. Many attempts have done that. But these guys decided that they wanted to take on something unique and creative and bring something new to the table. And they did just that. If the direction was not there, it would have all fell apart. So many things have had to come together in order to do that. So very, very impressed with the work that they did. So let's go ahead and give this slice, the direction, a score and a verdict. In this slice, it gets 86%. Scoring 14.6 points out of 17 points, making the direction a great slice. Peace in, my friend. You just finished watching a segment of a Movie Pie episode. If you liked it, give me an up and click right here where you might enjoy another segment or if it takes your fancy, click right here to enjoy a full episode while I enjoy a cup of coffee. Or is that tea? It's better anyway.